fixed it class good morning if you're in our members only group good morning this is our we fixed it class where we take recipes and the shibola formulas and talk about the lifestyle fix recipes approved products um, all that fun stuff that keeps our lifestyle ever evolving it's a community effort. We appreciate everybody. We fixed it sessions um, are for our Faithfully Fit members and partners. Uh, the, these sessions are exclusive to them, but the first class is always free for all members. Uh, if you're not a partner or Faithfully Fit member, but like what you hear and see today, I want it in, added in your library. Uh, these sessions cost $1 per month just a dollar per month. So uh, we, we hope that you will be prayerful about that and consider we have great expense. Uh, weight, loss, um, weight loss and wellness requires behavior modification. Uh, people are opting for all kinds of drugs and other interventions and they're not working. And what works is the Holy Spirit, education, a big desire to change, to improve uh, every day. And if you have that education, you have the Lord, uh, we can outperform any drug or intervention that's uh, in the marketplace. We just got to learn this lifestyle. So welcome today. We're glad that you're with us. Uh, everybody is welcome to be here. Am I going to do an orientation for the vault challenge that starts Monday? I already have. Um, I've done two or three. Let me see if Lisa's going to come in today. She can get that to you. I think I've done two or three of them. We can get those recordings to you. Monday, we're, we'll actually be doing an orientation for the next week's challenge. Uh, I'll be hosting that orientation noon on Monday and 7 p.m. on Monday for the next week. Let me see. I try to run a challenge every week. Keep people focused. Hang in there with me, Kelly, and if I forget, just remind me. We'll make sure that we get you the uh, recording. Hey, Jody, good to have everybody on this Saturday morning. Got folks on our page watching, folks in the group watching. Um, this will come down off the public page when it's over, and it will be put in the library. Good to have y'all. Again, are we fixed it? Oh, thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you for contributing. Uh, that dollar a month may not seem like much, but if we get enough of our tens of thousands of folks willing to do that, we can easily pay our great support team. We have the best in the business. Lara, Lisa, um, our volunteers, now Geraldine, we have an amazing team. Appreciate all that they do, all that they contribute. Sorry, I'm dealing with a little business. I'm about to get started. If y'all hear that thing beeping, that's um, that's me multitasking, trying to make sure before I get going strong here that everybody has got what they need. Whoops. Oh, hang, hang on. Sorry. Sorry for the delay, y'all. I'm about to get going full swing, I promise. Good morning, if you're just coming in. There's Lisa. Hey, Lisa, Kelly, uh, thanks for being here, Lisa, and all your hard work. Uh, if you will, Kelly Seabolt is needing the orientation for the vault and the class notes. Good morning. Good morning, Brother Will. Good morning, everyone. Mm. 
All right. All right. Hey, hey, Teresa. Hey. All right. So we're going to get started now. This is our we fixed except we fixed it session. Those that already had to endure my spiel, I'm sorry. Uh, this is this is a, a bonus session we do weekly for our partners and faithfully fit members. Uh, it, this recording will go in the library. It'll be deleted off social media platforms. It's exclusive. If you're not a partner or faithfully fit member, we welcome we uh, we welcome you to pray about that and consider becoming one. Uh, we need you. If you don't want to become a partner, uh, then you can uh, come to this class as we host it weekly uh, for one dollar a month. And your first session today is free. No worries. We're just glad that you're here. This is where our lifestyle really evolves. It keeps growing. It's not our Shabbat lifestyle doesn't have bookends it, and it shouldn't. Uh, weight loss and wellness is a journey and it should be one from birth to death. It should be throughout our life. And we're always taking recipes and modifying them. Bring your recipes, uh, provide your recipes to Lisa. Uh, those foods that you find at the grocery store that might not be in our food library uh, and you wonder about them, bring them to class, send a nutrition uh, label. Just take a picture of that product, that nutrition label, bring it to class. This is where we evolve and we can learn and grow so much in this. There is joy. Are you back, joy? No, you, you're out, you still having a good time? Two more? I'm glad to see your face. We've all missed you and hope you're having a great time. Good to have Joy, a staple in our session. She was missed last week over there having fun. I can't hear you. Are you sick? I'm hoarse, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little hoarse. I think it's just those old allergies, just constant. <laughs> but I feel pretty good. A little cough. All right, I'm going to pull this PowerPoint up and get going. <clears throat> We've got some recipes provided. And I think as we go through this, you'll see there's there's a common theme. You get to see how we think about these things, why the decisions on other products that aren't in this PowerPoint have been made, and so forth. Uh, so this first one is provided by Kathleen Wright. Thank you, Kathleen, if you watch this, for providing this one. Uh, this is hemp. I'm liking the beginning of this because hemp is one of the healthiest foods plant-based foods on the planet Earth, if not the healthiest, has regenerative power. Hemp, pesto, pasta. Let's take a look. Let's look at our ingredients. First off, we have six cups of cooked <clears throat> black bean pasta. Uh, I typically use Explore Cuisine. I'm going to make the assumption that her pasta is okay. We can either usually count those as a one and two or a six. We'll count it as a six as we're thinking through the recipe. We have a superfood there, going to be very low fat, typically. We have olive oil cooking spray. I would be concerned about olive oil in this recipe, but because it's a zero-calorie cooking spray, I'm not. A quarter cup of MCT oil, beautiful. That's what we want to use. That's medium-chain triglyceride as opposed to a long-chain triglyceride. Long-chain triglycerides are easily stored as fat, especially if we've also provoked the fat bus. Already here, we've got a little provocation of the fat bus due to the pasta, potentially. Not much, but some. But because we're using MCT oil, I'm not really worried about it at all because the medium chain triglycerides are going to be the first thing upon consumption that's used as an energy source. It will be used as an energy source even quicker than any carbohydrate that's here. You have up to 1.5 cups of hemp powder. Hemp protein powder is one of the, no, let me not say one. It is the best protein powder that I know of, and it's vegan. Um, the only reason you don't hear me talk about it much is because to get it down, I usually have to add other things that are not as clean to it to change the flavor profile. I like hemp hearts. I like hemp flakes, but hemp powder mixed in water or approved milk I struggle with making a shake, um, even though I love its regenerative power. Let's see how this recipe goes, though, because Kathleen uh, is using this as a part of a delicious recipe. So 
She's adding a very power packed protein full of essential and non-essential amino acids that help us preserve muscle. I call amino acids gut be gone, butt be gone. We've got salt and pepper. We've got great value Italian style blend cheese. Not too worried about that. Cook black bean pasta. Let me make sure there's nothing sneaky in here. There is nothing sneaky. We're adding the grated cheese, but we got to watch the portion. You could also use Parmesan cheese there. She's already perfectly fixed this recipe. Typically what we're looking for in a recipe like this that's not fixed, what pasta are they using? We need to make sure that we use one of the better Shibboleth approved pastas. Explore, explore Cuisine, black bean pasta would have worked here. Uh, mung bean pasta would have worked here. Uh, as well as Miracle Noodles would have worked here. Any of like your zucchini noodles, vegetable noodles, those spirals, those are real uh, fattish right now. Uh, those would have worked right here. When you're buying these um, like zucchini spirals, zucchini pasta spirals and things, watch out for the, the hydrogenated fats being added to them. Got to be careful. If you're not spiraling them yourself, a lot of times there'll be preservatives or there'll be uh, some bad fats added to them. You got to be careful with those. Uh, in this recipe, I think the right selection was chosen because of the, the taste profile it's going to offer, that being the black bean pasta. I'd like to see this recipe in my own home with some mung bean pasta. I think that would be really good. So, yep, it looks good. So we're watching the pasta, watching the fat. There's really nothing else here to watch. She's only using a modicum of cheese. We got a good one here. Any questions about this beautiful, beautiful recipe provided by Kathleen Hemp Pesto Pasta? Any questions, comments, suggestions? <clears throat> All right. We'll, we'll keep moving. Let me check the chat thread just to make sure. No, no, no questions. All right. Moving on. That looked tasty, didn't it? Would you eat the pasta with a salad? <clears throat> hey, Gail, good to have you. I wouldn't. Um, if I'm in the weight loss phase, I wouldn't. There are exceptions to that. If I'm in maintenance, I probably would. Um, this recipe in the right portion would fill me and satisfy me, unless I'm having a Tiger 24. If I'm only eating once in a 24 hour period, I would have definitely added a salad to this to get in. It, it, usually what I do, Gail, is if I'm having a Tiger 24, then I have basically one full meal approved, of course, one full meal and at least a half of another meal. So it's like I'm having two eating episodes at one time. So in that case, I would have. If I was somebody getting closer to goal, trying to lose body fat, I don't think I would add anything to it. Now, there's an exception to that. If you didn't want to, I'm assuming someone would have the full portion on a six to eight inch plate and then want the salad too. But if you moved room over, if you only had, if you, if you back down on the pasta so that you had more room, because anytime we feel the expansion of our gut, it doesn't matter, even if we followed Shibboleth approved portions, if you feel the gut lining stretching, in my estimation, you've eaten too much. So that portion rule is to put the right foods in place and to make sure that our stomach has the ability to shrink, not stretch. So, so we get to the sense of fullness quicker. There's nerves in there. And we want to get to most of you, if you followed Shibola for a week, you realize your stomach has shrank and you don't need as much food. We want that, that to continue. Even if I'm eating broccoli and I eat a bushel of broccoli, I'm stretching my stomach, even though I'm not going to put on body fat, then it's going to be harder to get to the sense of fullness later. But if I'm looking at a six to eight inch plate and I, I, I back down on the overall portion of this pasta I could have, then it would just be one eating episode to add a salad. And in fact, you would be reducing the calories. Does that make sense? Again, I'm not really teaching nutrition right there. I'm teaching mindset and how my mindset is. My mindset doesn't work. Well, Gail, I'll give you an example. Like um, Keith over in Rome, 
the the guy, he's such a good influencer. He's so inspirational. Keith, I believe it's Keith Osmond. You, I think you know Keith. He's so inspirational, right? So he's typically talking to people who are want who are very fit or trying to get fit. He owns like that uh, Spartan smoothies over there in Rome, I think. Uh, but he's a real inspiration to me. And um, he's either inspiring people to get fit, like he is, he's extremely fit, like bodybuilding great. So like the advice that I give here often, that would be rebuked in that, not that he would rebuke me, I'm just saying he would be like, well, but you know, if you're trying to have a positive nitrogen balance and you're trying to do this and put on muscle, that wouldn't be enough food. He'd be right. I, I typically go at this thinking about my demographic. My demographic ranges from people who are 30 pounds uh, overweight trying to get that off or like me who's morbidly obese. And I think I like to think how I need to think about the future of uh, for how, how do I see things? And if I, if I get in a habit of eating all that I can before I know it, I'm eating too much again, just kind of that thought process. Buttermilk ranch dressing um, submitted by Loretta Metcalf. Thank you, Loretta. This is going to be a good one too. We've got one packet of Hidden Valley Ranch is always fine. One cup of fat-free Fairlife milk is a category one approved milk a cup of fat-free plain Greek yogurt. Y'all are doing good. You're actually fixing them before y'all send them, and I like it. <laughs> Low-fat sour cream, apple cider vinegar, glass airtight container. Perfect. There's nothing here that's going to hurt you. Nothing at all, okay? The only thing, if I was lacking energy, I shouldn't tell you this because you probably shouldn't do it. If I felt my energy levels were running low, uh, I might add a little MCT to it just to give me some energy, but uh, it's better without it. So you never have to watch out for seasoning packets, especially those that are 15, 20 calories or less. Greek plain yogurt, you have to watch out for sugar laden yogurts. Greek plain, I've not seen it where it has a ton of sugar, if it's plain. Low fat sour cream, we're saving some calories by going the low fat option. Uh, apple cider vinegar, we all know that's great. Nothing wrong with this. I've made this myself. So it, this is delicious. It's an all. Hey, Shanice, it's okay. You don't have to be sorry that you're late. We're just glad you're here. So we've got this, okay? This is a little container full of a dressing. Now I'm having my grilled chicken salad, putting the dressing on it, delicious dressing. If I was using a regular dressing like this, I could be adding two to 400 calories depending on my portion of dressing. She has just fixed this, get the same taste, same flavor, if not better, and weight loss. Instead of that, buying it conveniently, bringing it home, putting it all over your salad or whatever you're putting it on, and then gaining weight. So what we're looking for is mindset. Taste good and lose weight instead of taste good and gain weight. She did a good job with that. Any questions about this? By the way, there are a lot of approved salad dressing recipes for fat burning in our recipe library. My favorite is Catalina. I love homemade Catalina dressing. I could live off a good salad with homemade Catalina. Serving portion, um, I would say up to, a, I would say bet for best results, two tablespoons, but up to a quarter cup. There's nothing in here that's going to hurt you. So I would say a quarter cup of this would be pushing the boundary, but would be fine because there's nothing in here hurtful. That makes sense. We've actually turned it into a protein dressing. Not as worried about the 50 calorie rule because this is all protein, you know. Annette has got a recipe. Annette, are you wanting us to look at that one with you? Let me copy it before I go to the next recipe. Let me see if I can copy it and add it so everybody can see it. And I'll do this for you. Real time. 
Is everybody good with that? Can we just jump out of the information and help Annette? This is what I've been asking y'all to do. So I want to make sure. Of course. She gets some help here. Okay. Oops. It may not let me copy that. May not let me copy from the thread, but I'm going to try. I believe, sir, it's already on the document. Oh, it, it's in the it's in the PowerPoint. Yes, sir. Please see the next. Oh, one. okay. Got gotcha, you. Got gotcha. you. All right. So we will get to it. See, see y'all. Why I need Lisa? Thanks, Lisa. All right. We'll move on. Here it is. Right here. It's the next one. We're on it. Way to go, Lisa. Hemp seed cornbread by Annette. See there, Annette, she had you covered. This is looking good. Let's check her out. Three cups of almond flour, one tablespoon of baking powder, salt, hemp seeds, large eggs, six tablespoons of MCT oil. I'm assuming I could use hemp hearts or hemp seeds here. So let's talk about what we've got nutritionally. Almond flour, high fat, but it's an approved flour. Uh, Bob's Red Mill's good. Blue Diamond's good. Uh, this makes for a great cheesecake crust. Almond flour does. Any of the flours that you wanted to experiment with here, mesquite flour is approved. Almond flour, carb quick, fiber wise. I'm getting where I like to enhance the, the fat bus stopping power of a recipe. You don't have to, but I would attempt this recipe with a one and a half cups of almond flour and one and a half cups of fiber wise to pull down the calories and have more fat bus stopping impact. But that may alter the tastefulness of the recipe in the wrong direction. I don't know. I'm saying I would experiment with it uh, to, to get the calories reduced, but still we're looking good. Baking powder is not a problem. Salt, hemp seeds or hemp hearts. Then you, you, hemp seeds, hemp hearts, you're talking category six. Um, you could back down on the calories here by experimenting with half a, half a portion of hemp hearts or seed and half a portion of hemp flakes. Don't know how it would turn out. It might alter the color, texture. But again, hemp seeds are going to be fine. They are heavy in calories, even though they're nutritionally benef beneficial. Excuse me. Six large eggs, category four six tablespoons of MCT oil. So when I look at this, I've got category sixes and category fours. So I'm a little concerned. I'm not very concerned because there's nothing to provoke the fat bus. I'll give you my mindset on this, okay? I don't know how this would taste if I change the flour or I change the whole eggs to egg whites or mix in egg whites. I'm trying to find a way to pull the calories down. When you have a six and a four together, you've got to be careful. We don't really promote that through combinations, but we can do it through perfect pairings if I can keep the calories low enough. So what we need to know about this recipe is, as it is, there's nothing that's going to prompt too much of a fat bus unless I eat the wrong thing with it. So if you have this this cornbread as it is, then we've got to see a big old category four on floating over our plate. So I would have two slices of cornbread that would fit under one hand. And then on the uh, under the other hand as a meal, I'm going to need to have a lean protein. Uh, I do not want to have more of a category four. Like I wouldn't want to have scrambled eggs with this. Uh, I wouldn't want to have a steak with this. That's going to be too much. It's going to really jack our calories up. I would say if I had to, to tell you how to use it, it would be a side item in the description. Great recipe. It's a zero on the weight loss meter. It's a side item that's going to be really tasty and nutritionally beneficial. And it can only be had with a one or a, a one, two, or seven. Now I'm going to stop there because that was a mouthful. Did all of that make sense? The way it is, it's perfect. It's a zero on the weight loss meter. We can perfectly pair it with any lean protein or any fiber, but we want to avoid more category sixes like pintos in this cornbread. 
Well, you probably could get away with pintos because they're not very, they're not fatty. So I would make these, these allowances. Category one, two, seven, and any of the uh, pintos, black beans, anything like that could be paired with it too. But the higher fat category six is no. Does that make sense, everybody? Could you add a little one-on-one -on -one cornbread flavoring to this? One-on-one. -on -one. I'm not sure I know what that is. Let me see if I can Google real quick. One-on-one -on -one flavors, never heard of them. Glad to know about them. We need to check these out, Lisa. Looks like concentrates. Zero. No, there's no calories. You absolutely could. Uh, I'm going to write that down. Never heard of those. Thank you, Will. No wonder you've lost 100 pounds. One-on-one -on -one cornbread. We need to add all those. Cornbread seasoning. Zero calories, zero guilt. I like it. <clears throat> You can sure do that, Will. Any other questions or comments? Are these sessions helping you? Are you are you learning? Does this help with your learning? Awesome. So good one there. Appreciate you. Lentil soup by Trinity Peacock. Lentil soup, vegan and oil-free. That looks delicious. Now, that might go good with that cornbread. I'd have to look at the nutritional profile, but that's the first thought that comes to mind. Let's take a look. We've got onion, carrots, garlic, ground cumin, curry powder, dried thyme, ground coriander, coriander, crushed red pepper, coconut aminos, diced tomatoes, brown lentils, low-sodium vegetable broth. I'd go fat-free vegetable broth. Kale or collards and lemon is absolute. Y'all just bringing perfect recipes now. There would, there's really nothing to watch out for here. I might even add a little, you don't have to, but I would enjoy a little ground beef in there. I'd probably put some 96% lean ground beef in there, scramble it up, put that. Everything's perfection with this. There's nothing wrong with this. This is a negative two recipe. Great for weight loss, cup and a half, up to two cups as a meal. You could have it as a side item with any lean protein, uh, any approved cornbread. This is a perfect recipe. Perfect. A good, I would say this is at least a negative two. We want, in other words, we put those meters on there to push you towards certain foods. This is a great one. Any question about it? Oh, go back and show the uh, instructions for the cornbread. It will be in the library. The instructions, if you want to do a screenshot of it, mix dry ingredients in the bowl, mix liquid ingredients in the bowl, mix dry and liquid bowls together. Sorry, I failed today to go through the instructions. Um, they will be in the library, but I'll start pausing so you can take screenshots if you want to get, get a jump start on them. Coconut aminos are, from my understanding, much like Bragg's liquid aminos, Gail. Um, it's just an extraction of amino acids. Amino acids are never going to hurt you. They're always going to be zero calories, too. The instructions, if y'all want to screenshot it for your lentil soup. The only thing that I would switch out there, I make sure that we uh, designate Lisa fat-free, low-sodium vegetable broth. That's that's the really only thing that we need to make sure we tighten up. All right. Oh, ooh, I'm liking this one by Angie Kinsey. I'm liking this already. 
Orange chicken, one of my favorite guilty pleasures. Let's see if she can fix orange chicken. One of my favorites gets me in trouble if I'm near it. A three quarter cup of orange juice, two tablespoons of soy sauce, lemon juice, quarter cup brown swerve, one tablespoon of cornstarch, zest from an orange, fresh ginger, garlic, red pepper, skinless chicken breast, water chestnuts, two packages of bird's eye Asian stir fry, and water. I'm already thinking how I would play with this in the kitchen. Um, I would be breading it with, doesn't look like, look like the photo's not indicative of the recipe. I would be breading it. If I wanted to bread my orange chicken, we're gonna talk about the sauce in a moment. If I wanted to bread it, I'm gonna be using with orange chicken, probably a one-to-one a -one ratio of carb quick I don't see any of that in here. It sounds like we're just taking the chicken and dipping it in the, the ground up vegetable. I mean, we're gonna tackle this recipe. I'm just thinking I like orange chicken. So I might try to bread it and carb quick and fiber wise, then use the sauce, just a thought. But as far as this recipe goes, you chefs out there, um, we're going to need to, we, we don't need that orange juice. What can we do instead of using store-bought orange juice? We got to think about that. Is Brown Swerve in the library? Lisa, can you check and see if Swerve, Brown Swerve, got to be careful with some of the Swerve products and I don't use them, so I haven't committed it to memory. Need to look for swerve. A little bit of cornstarch I'm not worried about. I would probably use as a thickener. Uh, I'd rather, Lisa, here say one tablespoon of guar gum or exanthem, exanthem gum instead of cornstarch. Are y'all all with me? Because I know I'm talking out loud. I'm thinking out loud. So I would use the cornstarches for a thickening agent. So... We know that provokes a fat bus. I wouldn't be worried about one tablespoon, but there are other things in here that cause concern. So I'm thinking, let's just eliminate that path altogether and use exanthem gum or guar gum. Are y'all with me so far? Let me know that makes sense since I'm just talking all over the place. I talk it out on my whiteboard in my head and then I figure it out. That's how I do it. So if you have other suggestions for that cornstarch, I'm all ears, but I'm, I'm thinking guar gum or xanthan gum. We're not worried about the zest from an orange. The swerve is approved, Lisa says. This bird's eye Asian stir fry vegetable blend I'm thinking that's just vegetables, right? Can anybody help me with that? Is that is that just vegetables without any added oil? Yeah, I think that's probably just frozen vegetables you can get in the freezer part, I believe. Hey, Brother Charles, good to have you. Miss you, bro. Um, so... The only thing that I see that we need to fix then, see if y'all agree with me, that I'm not missing anything because this one's got to be careful. We need some sort of replacement for that orange juice and we needed to replace our cornstarch. Instead of brown swerve, I would be using monk fruit. I understand why we're using brown serve, swerve and monk fruit might not give it the look and texture you're after but I would use monk fruit or xylitol. Certainly brown swerve is fine. 
you would just improve upon it by using monk fruit. I'm worried about this orange juice. Doesn't Tropicana have a sugar-free orange juice, someone? Can y'all help me out with that? I think Tropicana has one of those sugar-free orange drinks that's like orange, drink, orange juice. It's not orange juice, but it's like mock. I think that they have a sugar-free. If somebody wants to check on that. What about orange essential oil or orange extract? Great idea, Valerie. That, that would be perfect. Certainly, you could do that. That's a good choice. It's three quarters of a cup, so that's a lot. So let, let me check and see if I can find a Tropicana. Brother Travis, I believe the uh, orange essential oils uh, aids in your weight loss, too. I think it helps you. It does. It's, uh, uh, it's really... I you know, but you can't just ingest any essential oil. That's right. It has to be a pure, you know. Yeah, that's right. I know right. the wellness company has some, but I don't know if they have orange, but uh, yeah. yeah, that would be a pretty good one. Yeah, and, and Lisa, I don't want you to add essential oil to that recipe because people will ingest the wrong one. But Valerie, knowing her stuff, Doing that personally, she'd be fine, but we don't want to put that in the recipe. Did somebody else say something? I did. Tropicana does have a no sugar added um, juice, and Crystal Light has, I'm just Googling stuff, Crystal Light has a classic orange packet. I don't know if you could add that to to water. Yeah, would that work? It would, yeah. It's a powdered thing, yeah. That's a good idea. Um, you could use like crystal light, any orange zero calorie thing. I'm looking at Tropicana light. It's got quite a bit of sugar in it. Um, it looks like a cup of it would be 50 calories. So what I'm thinking, see if y'all can go along with this line of thinking. What I'm thinking is you could use worst case scenario. If you didn't do the crystal light or it didn't provide the flavor, you could use Tropicana light because that's a condiment. Does that make sense? Teresa says true orange has one too. Tropicana light, the serving that we need is less than 50 calories. So in my mind, I could call this a um, condiment, get away with the rest of the recipe and have it with a lean protein only, uh, I mean, a uh, category two. We've already got our protein. So let me go back to that. Yeah, that one just wasn't going to be an, an e a pass for me today. So we're thinking, let's go back through it again. For our sauce, which is going to set it off, we're looking at three-quarter cup of Tropicana Light, Crystal Light, or any other near zero calorie beverage. The, wor the worst we can go is Tropicana Light. Soy sauce, lemon juice, brown swerve, or monk fruit. Instead of cornstarch, guar gum, or exanthem gum. Everything else is on point with this recipe. You could have a side item with it, but it would have to be only a category two. So if I want to have like a stir fry here with some extra category two, I could. Here's the instructions if anybody wants to screenshot them, but Lisa will have to do the hard work of making these exchanges. I would be calling this one a zero on the weight loss meter. Let me say this because people get hung up on, oh, I don't want it then. I think zeros are the lifestyle. That's what makes the lifestyle life saving is because it won't hurt you. The orange chicken you used to have hurt you. Now you can have one that don't hurt you. So I think the zeros are what we're all about because we're not supposed to always be in the weight loss phase. It's like Sister Gail, she is way past having to lose weight. She's maintaining. She puts on a few extra pounds, she gets it off. She's maintaining, okay? So for her variety, that's where we all wanna get to. We wanna get to where we have zeros and we enjoy more variety in our diet. So. I don't, when I say zero, that's not to say stay away from it. That's to say that's a good one. Okay. 
Hey, Travis. Uh huh. I just Googled Simply Orange. I don't normally buy orange juice for anything, but I know they have that on the shelf, that Simply Orange. And I don't remember what you said about the Tropicana Light, but this one's eight ounces for 120 calories with no added sugar. Of course, got 23 grams of natural sugars, but zero added sugar. So I don't know how that would add up. But. It, I don't think that one would work. It said eight ounces is over 100 calories, right? Eight ounces of 120, yeah. Yeah, it's too much. Okay. Yeah, good try on that one. That That's a little much, though. Just because something says, y'all, no sugar added, it's not, it doesn't mean there's no sugar. Um, fruit sugar, processed fruit sugar. So I can process an orange myself, right? So if I juice an orange and there's no pulp, I'm getting straight fructose, fruit sugar. And if that's in that canister, and it said, they'll do that to trick you. It'll say no sugar added. Are y'all with me? No sugar added. That doesn't mean it's not full of fructose. Fruits have natural sugars and fruits are meant to be eaten with the pulp and everything so that we can control our blood sugar impact. Got to be careful. I've, I've done it myself. I've picked up by accident many times, as long as I've been doing this, no sugar added. And then get home and go, oh my gosh, this is full of sugar. What was I thinking? Uh, Jody on Facebook um, offers a an incredible uh, option, sugar-free orange jello. I like that, Jody. That was ingenious. We could add that there, Lisa. Great job, Jody. Sugar-free orange jello. I didn't think of that. Sugar-free orange marmalade, Smuckers, another great one, Deborah, on Facebook. Outstanding. I should have been checking in with y'all. My phone's down here, so sorry I missed that. If I missed any others, Lisa, you might want to thumbs up them. So here's two better options, sugar-free orange marmalade from Smuckers. Um, Walden Farms has a calorie-free one, now that I think of it. And Jody comes out of nowhere with sugar-free orange jello. So great job, ladies. You just I have a question. I have a I'm question about those three. How would you because because the orange juice gives the liquid. So you would you just mix those with water and yep. then pour it in? Okay. Yep. yep. That's all you would have to do. It's kind of like when I make a key lime pie. I I, I can take like one of our cheesecake recipes. And mix in the key lime sugar-free jello and turn it into like key lime pie. There's just all kind of cool things we can do when we all come together and think it through. Anybody else? That was the last one. So I'm happy to take any questions about we fixed it or anything else that y'all want to talk about related to faith, behavior modification, um, Things that you need from me that I'm not providing, uh, anything that you need, I'm here to try to help. Anybody got anything at all before we go? There's safety in a multitude of councils, so I'm thankful for all of you. Any any questions, comments? Orange ginger sauce. That's right, Penny. These classes are always quiet, and I like to think in my mind it's because not that I did a bad job, but that everybody's taking notes and we're learning together and you're probably washing clothes and doing dishes too. Thank you, Therese. We're driving home from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. Yeah, I've missed y'all. I've been I've been in I've been working down there for two weeks and it's I've I didn't do as bad as I thought I would, but uh yeah, now I'm I'm happy to get back home and get back on planet. <laughs> We're glad to have you back, Vicki. Could we use Walden Farms mayo in the ranch dressing? You certainly could. Great one, Teresa Hatcher. 
You could use Wild and Farms mayo in the ranch dressing. That would make it even better. Yeah. Everybody good? Hearts and minds clear, excited about the upcoming week? Every week is critical. You know, we're not promised tomorrow. Let's make the most of each day. We were not meant to live upon this planet uh, feeling regretful and, and painful and uh, hurting and all these unintended consequences of this stronghold. We're meant to live a quality, healthy, more abundant life in him. Bye, Penny. Thanks for all you do. All right, we'll close this out in prayer and we'll let you go. Thank you, Lisa. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. Forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Thank y'all. Bye, everybody.